fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. This is Colonel 33 at channel. Out here riding in the desert. We have some pretty nice desert out here. I was uh, just wondering what everybody thinks about the elections being real. What I mean by that is like, does it really matter? Do they matter? Or is somebody else running the show? That's kind of been kind of on the back of my mind a little bit. I'm not sure if anybody really makes a difference. But, who knows? I do think that having somebody like Trump in there could really shake things up, that's for sure. Because he's not a politician and he's not... He's not uh, somebody who you can buy. He's already got plenty of money. In fact, he's less wealthy now than he was when he started. Which has got to be at first. These whoops are pretty crazy out here. Yeah, I don't really know for sure on this one. Uh, I think I can definitely tell a difference. I'll put it that way. I can tell a difference how American culture is, depending on the president. But in terms of actual laws, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I do remember when Obama was in office, he couldn't say Merry Christmas. Then Trump got in there and he said Merry Christmas. I was kind of like, oh, he said the thing that's like hate speech. In terms of actually legislating a difference into existence. I'm not really sure there's a huge, anything huge. It seems like Trump had just as many gun laws passed as anybody else. So, it's really hard to say. On this topic, man, I've, I've really looked into a lot of stuff. I used to listen to the radio hosts. And, um, they would give me their version of what happened. And then I'd look into it and I'd find out that it's not how it actually works and all kinds of stuff is that way where I'm like I look into things deeply and you know whether it's um, oil shortage an imminent oil shortage which the supply was literally the same as it has always been but they're trying to scare you so that they get more views and everything so That was from all the conservatives, and, and, and that's not the only thing that they did. They were talking about trains <laughs> being held up. That was another one that was just a normal thing. It was nothing new. There's uh, a lot of stuff like that that gets blown out of proportion. They take little events that normally happen and they just blow them all out of proportion and so I used to think it was just the left that did that but modern day televangelists are really tricky it's not like how it used to be it's not a guy dressing up in shiny garb and yelling in a microphone anymore it's uh guy claiming to be Christian who's giving you half-truths and asking for payment. He's asking for donations somehow. And we used to make fun of people who were falling for 
the televangelists. Nowadays, <laughs> you still make fun of them, but it's it's a lot trickier and it, it looks different than it used to. For one, you've got people who have confirmation biases now that are like in love with Trump and I'm like, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. I don't know how that happened. I just watched that Joe Rogan interview with Trump. He calls everybody stupid idiots <laughs> he's just a, a kind of a rude guy he'll just he says everybody loves me everybody's always loved me everybody's stupid <laughs> he's kind of funny and I I will vote for him to be clear but uh, I'm not under any kind of like delusion about him but you have people that are all smiles on the other side that will eat you alive the whole time they're smiling so take your pick oh geez I almost went down I had a little slippy poo anyways guys thanks for watching catch you on the next one peace All right, guys, I just wanted to thank my Patreon supporters. That would be Lance Darnell, Jim Jolson Jr., Kurt Kinghorn, Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Wade James, Moto Creek, Nathan Young, Jason Froling. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you.